What up, though? Heist Man Defoe, talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Man, I just seen this movie called The Conjuring 3. The devil made me do it. I usually don't watch scary movies because I'm a punk. I don't like scary movies, but I like that one because it has some devil stuff in it. I like the, what do you call it, the element of the devil fighting good and evil and stuff. So I watch some scary movies, but this was pretty dope. I kind of liked it, this one, man. It, um... It's about a couple. What's this couple name? Ed and Lorraine Warren. They like modern day Ghostbusters, basically. And it's based on a true story. Um, they go around busting ghosts or something, I guess. Um, what else happened in the movie? It started off with a little boy who was possessed by a demon. And I got to give the little boy some credit, man. He he did a good job acting, doing all this stuff, rah, screaming and all this stuff, Benick contorting his body in all these ways so it was pretty good man he did his thing but they had to get this demon up out of him so they brought in the priest and when they brought in the priest the priest got the demon up out of him he, um he caused some havoc and raised some hell but it got up out of him but it jumped into his brother and his brother is an 18 year old boy and when they jumped into him he later on went probably four months five months later went on and killed his um landlord and he went to jail for it. He was sitting up in jail, you know, chilling, doing this thing because he in jail now from killing somebody. But he was possessed by the demon. So they trying to fight the rights and all that stuff. So the little boy, he went back home. He chilling and he up in his water bed. And the, the demon head show up in there. And we like, hey, the demon ain't in the boy no more. It's in the jailhouse with the, the brother. But, you know, the demon came out and scared him and raised some heck raise some hell i say heck raise some hell and that's what that was and the ghostbusters came back in the lady ghostbusters she went up under the house and she found some little skull thing you know some little i don't know what you call them things man some kind of skull you know what it's called charlene uh a totem or something a, like that oh yeah a totem it was it was a it was a like a curse yes it was like a, it was a curse. That's why they put it up on the house. It was a curse. They cursed them people. Somebody cursed them. And they kept doing their little investigations and stuff, doing their thing. And when they and did their investigation, they found out it was some woman who was behind all this. I don't know. What, who was this woman? I never got that. It was a, it was a, um, a priest's daughter. Oh, it was, it was a, pri a priest. that He was uh, researching the occult. And, his, and he was raising his daughter, and she got obsessed with it and ended up... Um, serving the dark lord i guess right that woman i don't know who she was but she showed up and did like they had to break the curse though they had to destroy um her table what altar. she was making the, uh, um what altar oh altar i called it a table it's like a table with a pentagram on it and stuff they had to destroy that and they destroyed it and it was a true story so the um the brother who was 18 years old he wound up going to jail for five years they um what they get him for? Manslaughter. I'm telling the whole story. This is spoilers. You didn't tell that at the beginning. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> hey, it was a good movie, though. I kind of enjoyed it. Like, it was, what would you give I, it? I, I, I'd give it a good 8, 9. 7. I, I like the, the, the Love Conquers All theme it had. Yeah. But them real people. They yeah, did. I, uh, I love anything based on a real story. We can go back and see the pictures of the real people. And and, res and research it more. Right. Well, who, who was the people? Um, I forgot. I lost my train of thought. They did something. They like they was real people. They was Ghostbusters, basically. Par yeah, paranormal, paranormal people. Paranormal. They did the, the Annabelle movie. Yeah. All the Conjurers. I I wasn't up on this before. Now I I just had to see this they movie. They even had though. something to do with the Amityville. They they researched. Yeah. Y'all need to look them up. Ed and Lorraine. Warren. Warren. The Warrens. Did you anything you didn't like about the movie? I didn't like. Yeah. No, I, I liked it. It had references to other movies, you know, it referenced mm -hmm. uh, Polter, po not po guys, um, Exorcist. Exorcist and, with the little boy doing the contorting. Freddy. Freddy with the water in the bed. Psycho. Like it had oh, some, the shower scene, yeah, Psycho. It had some great references to other movies, you know, it was very nostalgic. It was kind of, it was kind of slow, or maybe I was just kind of sleepy too. Was sleepy, it wasn't slow. I was watching, was uh, but it was kept getting, it was some good action in there though, some good jump scares, some good, music <laughs> i say one thing i didn't like about it was the waterbed scene why because that's when you um confessed that you lost your 
your V card on that on a waterbed. <laughs> I ruined the whole movie. And part. I was like, <laughs> it's true, I did. So that's why I ain't like the waterbed. That's scene. what I think of when I see a waterbed. Yes, we watching the scary movie. She thinking, she reminiscing. That's how it goes down <laughs> over here, though, man. Um, I think that's it. Your life, your wife. I mean, your life, your life and wife. My life and my wife. My wife. I'm heist. Anyway, that concludes this little review of this, man. I just wanted to chime in on it because I like this movie. Because, like I said, I don't watch scary movies. I'm a punk. I second that. Hey. Anyway, come join us on this channel sometime, man. We talk about everything. You got to come holler at us, man. I go live on this channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through and holler at me, man. Um, Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through and holler at your boy. Heist man the foe. Talk that talk ghetto news and opinions. With Charlene in the background. Peace.